Good morning and welcome to another video on Mr. Ong Math Lesson. Today we are going to look at the 2020 NCA Level 1 Chance and Data question. Today we are looking at question 3. If you have not watched question 1 and 2, please do so. So if you can watch question 1, 2 and 3, I believe you will do well in this paper. So let's go. So we shall look at question 3. African elephants are one of the several species of elephant. So there are different kinds of species. A ran random sample of 55 African elephants from the zoos and from the wild were selected. The scatter graph, this is a scatter graph, shows the re relationship between the food size, which is on the x-axis, and their waist size on the y-axis. Food size and waist size are both measured in centimeter. Okay. So the black squares represent the measurement taken from the male African elephant. So the square are the male elephant and the grey dots are the female. Okay, so now we are going to answer the first question. Comment on the chance of an African elephant having a waist size greater than 450. So from here, we can see that it's quite straightforward. 450, the waist size, so we're going to draw a line there. And we can see there's only four. One, two, three, four. Only four of the elephants out of the 55 have waist that is more than 450. So the chances of getting an elephant that has a waist size greater than 450 is very slim. Okay, because there's only four of the 55 elephant that is greater than 450. And that will give you an achieve. Simple deduction. Clear? Yes, good. Now we shall do at the second question. Okay. On the scatter graph, draw the line of best fit between the foot size and the waist size. So we have drawn a line which is halfway between the dots and the square. So we name it the line of best fit. So that line will give you an achieve and they ask you to comment on the relationship of the uh, between the foot size and the waist size. So as you can see, the relationship is pretty moderately strong. Why? Because most of the point lies close to the line of best fit. So if you can draw the line and answer that question, you will get a merit. Okay, great. Now we shall answer another merit question. Okay. So the question asks you to describe and interpret at least two different features visible in the graph above. Okay. So in this graph, you can see most of the data has been collected with larger feet, so more than 110 onwards. So this is a big chunk of data that's more than 110, very few are between 60 and 110. So we assume, we can make the assumption that most of the elephant are adult elephant. Okay, because they are, have bigger feet, foot feet size. Okay, the next one. Uh, there is a positive linear relationship between the foot size and the waist size. So as the foot size increases and it gets bigger, the waist size also increases. So that is how you answer. If you can answer two, two of them, you'll get a merit. If you answer only one, you get an achieve. Not too bad, right? <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, now we're going to answer the excellence question. Defail, defail believe that the scatter graph would be useful to predict the waist size of all elephants based on their foot size. Evaluate differ claim using statistical reasoning, giving at least three different justified statements. Okay, so we shall look at it. There is only one sample used, so that other samples may give you a different result. So this is called chance variation. So sample variation. So if you do different sampling method, you will get a different result. So that's why this is not very good. Okay. And the sample is only for one type of elephant. We only did one species of elephant. That is the African elephant. So we cannot make the assumption that it will apply to all the elephants in, in Africa. Okay. The sample collected, the third point, the sample data collected did not specify if the which elephant were from the wall and which elephant were from the zoo. So that's why if you know the proportion, then it'll be a better outcome. But the, in this data set, you do not know which belongs to the zoo and which belongs to the wall. So that's why it's not very accurate. 
And again, there were only seven male elephant. The the uh, the square black square. And there's only seven. So we cannot use that data to make a prediction about the whole male elephant population in Africa. So if you can answer three of the four valid points, you will get an excellence for this question. Okay. So remember, if you have to ask for at least three, make sure you give more than three. If you only give one, you get a chief. You give two valid, you get a merit. If you get three or more, then you get excellent. Great. Now we'll proceed. Okay. Now next question, B now. Okay. Let's read it. Okay. At the zoo, Maya, Taina and Nikau play a game that will allow them to collect to win an animal badge if they spin a picture of the animal. There are different spinners with pictures of elephant, lions, and crocodiles. So on spinner X, there are six pictures, two elephant, two lion, and two crocodile. Uh, spinner Y, you have three elephants, two lion, and one crocodile. While in spinner Z, there is one lion, one elephant, and one crocodile. So Maya thinks that he had more chance of winning a crocodile badge by spinning if he used spinner X. So we first calculate the probability of getting a crocodile. Crocodile is the green one. One, two, so two out of six. The chances of a crocodile in spinner X is one over three. Two, six is equivalent to one third. Over here, crocodile is one out of six, so one out of six. And over here, crocodile, one out of three. So of course, Maya is wrong because the chances of getting a crocodile is the same for spinner X and Z, not only spinner X because X and Z had the same probability, which is one third. So I have to disagree with that statement. Okay. Okay, now, Tena spins spinner Z five times, hoping to win an elephant badge. Her results were lion, crocodile, crocodile, lion, crocodile. There's no elephant. So he believed that spinner Z must be biased because elephant picture did not appear at all after his five attempt. Do you agree? Okay. The event of the spin are not independent. So for example, the second spin is not dependent on the first spin and so forth. The third spin is not dependent on the first and second spin. So as Tena has only spin five times and this number is insufficient to make the decision about biasness. Okay, and second point that spinner Z has a probability that is one third. Okay, the chances of getting an elephant is one third. This does not mean that Exactly that proportion will happen if you only do five pins. They will happen if you do a large number of pins. So in this case, he only did five times. The number is insufficient for you to make that claim. Okay, great. That will be a merit if you can get on these two questions right. And the last question, okay. Nico spin all three spinners. What is the chance that all three spinners will win an elephant badge? So spinner X, if Nico spin, the chances is one third. Not elephant is two thirds, so we're not worried about not elephant at the moment. So it's the spinner Y, the chances is half because three out of six, and then spinner Z is one out of three. So the question asks you, what is the probability that elephant batch appear on three spinners? So you take one third times half times one third, and they'll give you one over eighteen, and the answer is zero point zero five five six, and that will give you a easy achieve. So technically, just keep on practicing. And before long, you should be good. So remember, watch video one, watch video two, and now we are in video three. If you can answer them, you should be fine. Remember, chance and data, there's always a scatter graph, there's always a box plot, and there's some other graph that you may not seen before. Enjoy, have a good day, and hope you do well in your external, and see you soon, everyone, and see you again.